tired, maybe. Hey guys, how you doing? I apologize for not uploading last Sunday. People are actually already telling my boyfriend um, when am I going to upload again because I have not uploaded and that actually warms my heart because that means that people are actually, people actually watch my content. I don't know why I still think it's crazy. I sometimes just assume like all my subscribers are bots. I can't wrap my head around the fact that a thousand, a little bit over a thousand people like clicked subscribe. I apologize for not uploading last Sunday. Honestly, guys, I do not think I've shared this with you guys on my YouTube channel, but I know I shared it on like my TikTok and Instagram. Basically, your girl is a working woman now because I got hired in the surgery department at my hospital. Round of applause for Jessica. And I freaking love this job so much. So now my schedule is actually super busy this semester. I don't know why I thought my last semester in nursing school was going to be like a breeze. It's definitely not. I have lecture Mondays, clinicals Tuesday, Wednesdays, and then I am working at the hospital as a student nurse intern Thursdays and Fridays. So basically I am busy Monday to Friday. And then on the weekends I squeeze my homework and my studying in. Last week was my first official week like having work plus school and it was just really crazy and I just didn't know how to balance anything yet but now I feel like I've gotten a little bit better and I was finally able to set some time aside for vlogging and editing. I've created a routine that works so that I can go to the gym, sleep at least eight hours a night because sleep is a huge priority this semester, study, go to class, clinicals, and now work and post consistently on all my social media platforms. Um, so yeah. If you are new to my channel and would like to subscribe, feel free, feel free, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. So I just got off of work and my feet are so swollen. So I've been putting my feet up on my wall. I will just lay on my bed sometimes and elevate my legs because my feet are so freaking swollen. I'm eating the rest of my sister's chipotle bowl, which is super nice for her because I am hungry. And speaking about how stressed I've been, guys, I did something really bad. I started doing retail therapy, I think, when I first started nursing school. I was just so stressed out and, like, shopping online would just make me so happy. I've gotten better, though, because now I leave stuff in my cart for one week before I buy it. Just to make sure that after that one week, I still like what I'm buying. Because first semester, I was buying things left and right. And returning it as soon as I got it because then I regretted buying it. I did some shopping, maybe a little bit too much shopping, but I swear they are almost all things that I basically needed. It's not that bad when I tell myself it's things I needed. And I definitely want to share those with you guys. I'm so friggin' tired. So I just need to like de-stress. This vlog is being shot Friday before Valentine's Day weekend or Super Bowl weekend, whatever you guys want to call it. So I want to spend this entire weekend with my boyfriend and just like not have to worry about homework or editing and finally give myself one weekend completely off. So I have a lot of stuff I need to do today. But before that, I have been into Dance Moms recently. I do not know why because it's literally like the most fucking toxic freaking show you can ever think of. If you want to watch a toxic ass show, watch Dance Moms. Abby Lee is something else. And I think she went to jail, actually. It was like the rich people jail, so I don't even know if that's considered jail. In my opinion, it's not. But I think she did. She puts them in a pyramid based on how good they're doing. She's so pretty! <laughs> She's so cute. I don't know how I feel about her. <laughs> her mom basically makes this show. Like, she's the dramatic one, the one that has the most attitude, but she's kind of funny. I like her. It's a long away to dream. She's so pretty, and she's just so calm and, like, peaceful. I just love that lady. I'm already on season two, and I started this three days ago. We're going to go to Starbucks, and then I'm actually dropping her off at the grocery store because we are going to make a Valentine's Day cake, and apparently she thought we had icing, so she's going to have to go buy icing. We're shooting for a heart-shaped cake. Thank you. In honor of Valentine's Day, we got a tall pink drink. 
Well, it's a strawberry lemonade, but it's pink, you know? Pink. I also got my nails done. They're really fucking ugly. She did a good job, but um, I just chose the wrong colors. I think I agree with you. The, the job looks good. Like, the, the technique is there. Bye. And then there was one. We just came back from the grocery store and from Starbucks. Before we go and bake this cake, I want to show you guys what I bought. Because when I'm stressed, I go and shop. It is a horrible habit I have created in nursing school. Let me turn on the light really quick. I feel like the majority of the stuff I bought were actually more for like my new job that I have. So those expenses were kind of like needed. First thing I bought were these shoes right here, which they are so freaking cute. Unfortunately, these shoes are only allowed to be in the OR. I'm supposed to have shoes designated only for the OR. And so these are the ones I bought. They were like $200, but honestly... They are the best investment ever. In the surgery department, you are on your feet a lot. A majority of the time, you're just standing. So you can be in a lot of like foot pain very quickly. So I just had to buy these. All my like nursing friends told me about these. And then during my interview, they also mentioned that I should buy some of these shoes. That's kind of when I knew I might have gotten the job because they mentioned I should buy some of these and some scrub caps and I should start learning surgery stuff. So I was like, okay, I think I got the job, but I'm not sure. But they are telling me I should buy these things already. So did I get the job? And I heard back like a day later that I got the job. I just love the color so much. Online, it looked a little bit like lighter, but in person, it was more like a... It was purple, but a little bit darker than on on their website. Also, I bought this scrub cap right here. That was also a really good investment for my work. I'm really glad I did that. I also bought a back brace, which is right here. On Amazon, it helps me a lot for work, but that also stays at work um, along with my compression socks. And these things probably costed me a total of 120 I believe, on Amazon, plus my shoes. So $320. But they were $300 very well invested because these are going to be items I'm going to be wearing a lot. And then I did some retail therapy for myself for clothes to wear here at home let me share with you guys what i got i went to cotton on and guys when did cotton on get so freaking expensive like i do not know when that happened and someone needs to tell cotton on to chill on their prices because before i could almost wear it it was like two for 30 for these long sleeves and now they're two for 40 like damn i know inflation is really bad right now but chill on the prices cotton on I ended up buying two long sleeve shirts. I like these because they're like long sleeves, but they're still thin enough that they are lightweight and you can like layer these very easily. This one I believe is in a size medium and I just got it in black. And then I wasn't too sure about this color because I tend to wear a lot of like super dark colors, but I also bought a red one. So that was $44. I, I wanted to buy a crew neck that they had, but it was almost $50 for one crew neck and I was like that is too freaking expensive but wait there's more oh I actually have a pack of compression socks that I guess I haven't taken to the hospital yet this is a brand of compression socks that I bought and they're really comfy I went to Banana Republic and I did some shopping there I ended up buying three items I have been into the color purple lately I guess because I bought two items here that were the color purple First thing I got was this sports bra that was originally $45, but it was on sale for $30. And it has like these built-in cups. And then I bought this super basic just tank top because in the summertime, I can wear these a lot. Originally $30, but I only spent $15 on it. And it's this shirt right here. Super basic top. Once again, the color is what basically caught my eye. And this one was in an extra small. My size totally depends on the material they close, by the way. Like, this is an extra small. My cotton on tops, one was a medium. One was a large, only because they didn't have a medium. And then the sports bra was a large. So, it just depends on the material. Last shirt I bought, and I don't know what I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day yet. This top might be something I'll wear this weekend. It's this super cute satin top and it's a halter top and it like crosses right there and it's tight right here but then it's a little bit looser on the bottom again originally 50 dollars i got it for 30 which i feel like that was 
a really good bargain. I don't know. But Banana Republic has like really good quality clothes and I love their clothes a lot. So I went and did some retail therapy there. I actually feel so much better after doing some shopping. And another thing that I bought, now these were also for work. That's what I told myself and I just like needed these. During the week, I basically live in leggings. Like for class on Mondays, I go to school in leggings. Um, Tuesday and Wednesdays after clinicals, I change into leggings to go work out at the gym. So two other days that I'm in leggings. And then Thursday, Fridays, I actually wear leggings underneath my OR scrubs because it gets so, so cold in the OR. You guys do not understand. Like, the first week was the worst because I literally felt like ice and I was shivering so much. But now I feel like I'm getting a little bit used to it. But because of that, I ended up buying two pairs of leggings. I usually buy Lululemon Align leggings, but I actually decided to try a different brand out. And I got Beyond Yoga leggings. I got their high-waisted high -waisted midi leggings in black and also i already tried these on and i really like them and also the same style but i don't know the color i will insert a picture of these right here but they are so comfortable they literally feel like freaking butter so i spent like 200 dollars on these but once again totally freaking worth it because these leggings will probably last me a good couple of years i don't know how long the beyond yoga le leggings last but my lululemon leggings last me like three years they last me a really long time so i feel like it's a really good investment and i spent so much money guys but it was stuff that i needed i feel like i spent my money wisely i i don't know what do you guys think now i need to go help my sister bake a valentine's day cake we realized that we actually don't have eggs or milk so I don't know how good this cake is going to taste. Um, instead of eggs, we are going to use applesauce. So this cake might taste a little funky in the end. getting here the cake was meant like as a little surprise for him this cake looks kind of good now i might kill my egg not the best idea you're doing my side i'm doing the whole cake i feel like this was a random ass vlog this cake is actually coming out kind of cute once again guys if you have not yet subscribed please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications and Please leave a comment of what type of vlogs you guys want to see next because now that I'm like super busy with school and work, it's kind of hard for me to think of like vlog ideas. <gasps> this looks so cute. Oh guys, this looks so cute. I freaking love this thing.